Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn how we can deploy BitLocker to our computers or devices from Intune. BitLocker helps us to secure and encrypt our organization data and plays an important role in the security. So if you haven't configured or deployed BitLocker for your organization via Intune, you must do it first. In order for BitLocker to work, make sure you have enabled GPM from your machine's BIOS trusted platform module. One more thing is that always save your BitLocker recovery key at the rotation way you can get back. So let's dive into Intune and set up and deploy BitLocker. You can go to Intune portal by typing intune.microsoft.com once you are in the Intune admin portal, you can go to devices. We want to configure Bit Docker for our devices. And after going to devices, you can scroll it down and go to configurations. In the configurations, if you can see, I have defined many other policies here. And in the configuration policies, we are going to create here new policy. We need it to create for the platform windows 10 and later and in the profile type let's go to template and the template option we want to secure our endpoint with the bit locker encryption so let's select endpoint protection and hit create let's name our bit locker policy bit locker Encryption for Windows. Okay, I will add the same description here. Hit next. Okay. Now, in the configuration setting, let's go to Windows encryption, and here we will find the option for encrypting our devices. If you need any details of any option, you can come here at exclamation and you can see all the details here. So, yes, I want to encrypt devices, right? Encrypt storage card, mobile only. No, I don't want to do that. Now, let's go to BitLocker base settings. Warning for other disk encryption. Now, I don't need this part, right? Allow standard user to enable encryption during Microsoft Enterprise. So, this is the option that allow local user right other than administrator to enable encryption while joining their devices via microsoft entirety so no we don't want local user to enable encryption themselves let's go to next option to configure encryption methods let's enable this encryption for operating system and drives so there are different encryption methods you can see here right but i will keep this default encryption method according to my requirement for operating system device for fixed data drives and for removable data drives let's do the same okay so if your devices are already encrypted or being encrypted this settings will not work if you come to this exclamation mark right you can see the details for encryption for operating system drive so <laughs> if your drive is already encrypted that then this option will not change anything let's go to the next option so now BitLocker OS drive setting, these are drive setting and we can do it for our windows that additional authentication at the startup. Like when we are authenticating our devices, this will require additional authentication so that we can enable TPM. Okay, so additional authentication at startup, let's make it required. And the next option you have BitLocker with non-compatible TPM chip. The TPM chip which are not compatible, right? We can block them or we can set it to not configure. And if we block them, those could never be configured. But it's according to your requirement what you want for this option, right? 
So I will keep this option not configured because if I set this to block and the TPM chip is non-compatible, this will completely block the setting and it will never be configured, right? So I want to keep it not configured. Let's go to the next option, compatible TPM startup. Yes, I will set this to allow T TPM, right? Compatible TPM startup pin. I will select it to not allow startup pin with TPM compatible DT TPM startup key. I will select it to not allow startup key with TPM and compatible TPM startup key and pin. Let's select this option also do not allow startup key and pin with TPM. I have selected this option because we will never have any issue with any device with the TPM variant, right? So that's why I've selected these options here. Okay, the next option is if you want to allow pin and pin, uh, you have to select the pin length here. So if you want to allow, you can select the pin length here and enter the number here, the length you want. OS drive recovery. If you want to enable this, and if you want to recover your operating system device you can hit enable this and we will leave this this option as it is now the next option is save bit locker recovery key information to microsoft enter id yes you want to save that information and let's go to the next option bit locker recovery information stored to microsoft enter id yes backup recovery password and key packages now the next option is client-driven recovery password rotation. So this setting initiate a client-driven recovery password rotation after an OS drive recovery either by using boot manager or vendor. So we will set this option key rotation enabled for Microsoft intra joint and hybrid joint devices. This will rotate the recovery key. So the next option is store recovery information in Microsoft Intra ID before enabling BitLocker. Yes, save it. And here in the preboot recovery message and URL, we will leave this as not configured. The next option is BitLocker fix data drive setting. So the first option right access to fix data drive not protected by BitLocker. I don't want to use this. I will leave it as a block and fix data fix drive recovery let's enable this and i will keep these other option as it is in bit logger recovery information store microsoft enter id this is correct option is already selected here store recovery information in microsoft enter id before enabling bit logger. yes let's enable this and let's go to the next option bit logger removable data drive setting so we don't want to do anything with removable data drive setting. So we will keep this of op these option as it is and hit next. Here we have the option for add a group, add all user, add all devices, or in the excluded group option we can exclude the group as well. So let's add any group here. I select this group and add it here. If you want to exclude any group, you can go here and add group exclusion here. Let it next. So here we can set a different applicability rules like assign profile A, the operating system edition or variant. We can define edition and variant here. But as we need this policy for all of them, we will be not assigning or setting up any applicability rule. Let hit max and hit create. After reviewing this policy, you can hit create. And you can also edit this policy later on if you need to edit it. Let's refresh and see BitLocker encryption for Windows is here. So now we have this policy here. And once this policy gets synced with the devices, we will have a complete report here right in the report section we will get all the details so bit logger succeeded error conflict not applicable or in progress so this could take some time 
to sync across the devices of your organization straight about today's lecture configuring BitLocker for your windows devices thanks for watching keep watching don't forget to hit the like button bye